What's up guys, Techlops here and welcome back to another video. I hope guys that you are having a great day and today I wanted to show you guys how you can actually activate 3D touch on your non-supported devices. So something like the iPhone 4S can actually have the 3D touch. Then check this out, the iPhone 5S as well and the iPhone 5. So on the iPhone 5 it's a little bit laggy so it doesn't work all the time but as you can see that works as well. So that's a pretty nice tweak you know I have spent so much time actually finding this one so of course every single like guys would be so so much appreciated and yeah this is a free package guys so that's really awesome and now let's go ahead and get started let me show you how you can activate it on all of your devices. Before we're gonna start guys, I just wanted to show how it looks like on the iPhone 5S and on the iPhone 4S here. So when you try to 3D touch on the iPhone 4S, this is how it looks like. Pretty, it looks pretty native because these are native from your iOS and so on the iPhone 5S. Uh, let's try settings. Yeah, this is how it looks like. So we have a little bit of more short shortcuts because you know This is the iOS 10 and of course I want you to compare this one to the real uh, 3d touch gesture here So let's try settings as you can see that looks pretty identical So the only difference is in iOS versions. Okay guys So first of all, I wanted to say that this week actually is compatible with all of the jailbreaks available right now Starting from iOS 9 up to iOS 10.2 So of course if you're not yet jailbroken you can go ahead and watch the tutorial that is in the description and jailbreak right now if you have a compatible firmware so again works for 32 and 64 bit devices and once you've done this go ahead and go to your city of course and add that repo that you see right now this is the repo.ioscreatix.com so it's also going to be in the description so once you've done this just go ahead and go to your search type in the peak uh, Peekaboo right there so click on this one click install and install once again just make sure you're installing the right version that should be the 10.0.2 this one as you can see that requires the iOS 9 or newer and once you've installed this one go ahead and go to your settings then scroll all the way down till you see the Peekaboo this one and now make sure you toggle the sensitivity to 126 or 110 130 will be all right because you know uh, otherwise this will not work on your device so when you toggle this one to 126 for example as you can see this is what happens so it actually activates the 3d touch because if it's set to 26 let's say or 50 this just will not work but you may toggle it for yourself of course and see if it works for you and wait guys before you're gonna go I just wanted to also show you another tweak which allows you to actually have some more 3d touch uh, gestures let's say so this is called the Motus uh, available on the iOS Creatix which you have just added so if you for example go to no and do this kind of gesture from here from this side as you can see you can actually move the cursor just like that and you're able to select the text and edit it uh, just like on the iPhone 6s or the iPhone 7 pretty cool so yeah guys I think that should be pretty much it for today I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully now you can enjoy your 3d touch shortcuts and gestures on your non supported device but yeah guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you smash the like button so that will be so so much appreciated like always and as always guys I hope to see you around on my next one and peace out